hello viewers hope you're doing well today in this video i'm going to create a login form after that we will call the login api in react.js application so let's get started let's navigate to the vs code as you can see the auth service let me duplicate this method update the method name that we have fine in inside the argument it will get an object of the fine in dto the path of the endpoint that we have api slash auth slash login after the url we have to pass here sign in dto object mapping that we have post after getting the response from the api we have to return the response let me update here the caption of the console.error that we have error logging in after that i am going to copy the sign up function let me add here so first of all i'm going to update here the function name that we have sign in as you can see the form data use state where we have a email first name last name and the password in the login form we have only two inputs email and the password so let me remove first name and the last name as you can see the use state for the loading that will use to enable and disable the loader on the screen after that we have a use navigate hook that will use for a navigation from one page to another page after that we have a use snack bar hook that will use to show the toast so inside the theme provider i'm going to update a few properties where we have a margin top seven after that i'm going to update the caption of the form that we have sign in after that we have a box tag inside this we have a grid inside this grid we have the multiple text fields so i'm going to remove these in the login form we have two inputs only that is the email and the password so let me remove these as you can see the text field for the email after that we have a text field for the password after the text fields we have a button with the caption sign in as you can see the disabled property where we are checking if the form data is invalid then we have to disable the button so let me remove the first name and the last name from this condition after the button we have a grid let me remove the justify content property let me update the caption that we have don't have an account sign up after that i'm going to update the method name that we have handle sign up click let me update the method name here as well on the column of this method we have to navigate the user to the register page so let me add here the path that we have slash register now as you can see the event that we have on submit where we are calling here the method that we have handle submit this method is calling the endpoint from the node.js application that we have sign in inside the argument we are passing here the form data where we have a credentials of the user that is the email and the password after calling the endpoint we are saving here the response into this variable that we have response after getting the response we have a condition where we have to check if the response dot status triple is equals to two double zero then we have to show this console in case of api exception we have to show the toast with the caption invalid credentials let me remove this condition now you can take a look of the sign up component let's go back to the browser as you can see the sign in form we have two inputs email and the password after that we have a sign in button for now it's disabled after that we have a link with the caption don't have an account sign up on the click of this link it's navigating us to the sign up page now let me open here the inspect let's fill the form with the email that we have john at the rate test.com and the password that we have john now let's click on the sign in button as you can see the console where we are getting here the api response with the status 200 and inside the data we got a message a login successful and we got the token as well with the message and the token we are getting here the user object as well now let me open here the node.js application as you can see the login method inside the auth controller file so i'm going to remove the user object in the response of the login api we are returning here message and the token only now let's save this let's log in the user again with the same credentials now as you can see this time we got the message and the token only so that's all for now from my side if you have any confusion you can do comment thanks for watching take care